considering iOS or Android app development, most of us think about Objective C versus Swift and Java. First of all, being considered native tech stacks, they are naturally most often used mobile app development tools when it comes to iOS and Android app development. However, there are more ways to build a performant and user-friendly apps and Xamarin is one of them. That being said, I welcome you all today's session on what is Xamarin by IntelliPart. With this session, we shall touch upon intricate details and cross-platform software development tools. But before we do that, make sure to enable both subscribe button and bell icon so that you don't miss any update from us. We will begin in this session on a friendly note where we will understand what is this term Xamarin stand for. After that, we shall ponder upon the important features of Xamarin and how it works and its competitive advantage. Moving ahead, we will discuss about its competitive disadvantages and at the end, we are going to have a conclusion. I hope you guys, you are clear with the agenda. So let's get started with the first topic of this session that is, what is Xamarin? When discussing the primary approaches to mobile application development, it's difficult to overlook tool named as Xamarin. Xamarin is a cross-platform mobile app development solution that allows engineers to share up to 90% of their code across major platforms. Despite being a relatively young tool, it is built on the Microsoft technology stack and boasts a developer community of over 1.4 million people just within the time span of mere 6 years. The platform was created by the people behind Mono, an open source development platform based on the .NET framework that was first launched in 2001 and directed by Miguel de Icaza. The Zamarin company was founded on May 16 of 2011. However, unlike its predecessor, Zamarin was created as a commercial project until the company was acquired by Microsoft in 2016. Xamarin became a popular cross-platform product for developing mobile apps within the Microsoft ecosystem. This acquisition broke the financial barrier for using Xamarin, as Microsoft made Xamarin Software Development Toolkit as an open source. It became part of Xamarin Visual Studio Integrated Development Environment. Now, you must be wondering what makes this tool so special. Well, let me shed some light on its features. First feature I have here is it uses single language that is C-sharp to create apps for all mobile platforms. Unlike interpreted solutions such as Appcelerator, Titanium, Xamarin is natively compiled which makes it a go-to option for building high performance apps with native look and feel. Next thing is it is totally based on the .NET framework. As you already might know c -sharp is a mature language with strong safety typing that prevents code from unexpected behavior. As c -sharp is one of the .NET framework languages, it can be used with a number of useful .NET features such as lambdas, link and asynchronous programming that is utilization of async and await function to manage multiple processes at a time. Third big feature we have is compilation. The platform has two major products, Xamarin.iOS and Xamarin.Android. In the case of iOS, the source code is compiled directly into native ahead of time compilation assembly code, while Android Xamarin apps are first compiled down to the intermediate language and then into native assembly code at runtime. However, in both cases, the process is automated and tailored to handle issues such as memory allocation, garbage collection, platform interoperability by default. This makes cross-platform development, especially Android and iOS, quite easier. Fourth and final feature on my list is platform-specific code bindings. In most cases, engineers will be able to handle development keeping the native look and feel of the respective platforms within the Xamarin environment. However, Xamarin allows you to call existing platform code, for example, Swift for iOS, if you must reuse some module or realize some platform specific functions like barcode scanning, PayPal or Google Analytics integration. 
moving forward we shall understand exactly how this tool works Xamarin allows developers to develop native applications for Android, iOS and Windows phone platforms with a single code base that is C# -sharp and a single ID that is Visual Studio. Thus a developer can be able to develop native mobile applications without knowing Java, Kotlin, Object C or Swift. What that means is all the C# -sharp code has to be converted to make it working on these three separate platforms. Actually, there are three promises that Xamarin offers to make that work. That is native UI interface, native API access and native performance. Xamarin allows you to create native UI on each platform and write business logic in c -sharp programming language that is shared across all the platforms. In most cases, 80% of application code is shareable using Xamarin. Then, Xamarin takes care of translating or compiling all your c -sharp code to its corresponding platform specific code. Next thing that makes your code work on all three platforms is that this tool Xamarin is built on top of Mono. Mono is an open source version of the .NET framework based on the .NET ECMA standards. Mono has existed for almost as long as .NET framework itself and runs on most platforms including Linux, Unix, FreeBSD and macOS. The Mono execution environment automatically handles tasks such as memory allocation, garbage collection and interoperability with underlying platforms. And precisely that is what helps Xamarin translate and compile codes across multiple platforms. Next up, we shall cover the advantages of Xamarin. First thing first, Xamarin is one of the technology stack that you can code to all the platforms instead of developing separate programs. Next benefit it has to offer is that the performance is close to native since it uses c -sharp to formulate the program. Third benefit of Xamarin is hardware support. With Xamarin, your solution gets native level app functionality. It eliminates all hardware compatibility issues using plugins and specific APIs to work with common devices functionality across the platforms. Along with the access to platform specific APIs, Xamarin supports linking with native libraries. This allows for better customization and native level functionality with little overhead. Following that, the next benefit we have is Xamarin is open source technology with strong corporate support since Microsoft is the one handling this tool. The software development with Xamarin is quite simplified as well. The next feature we have on our list is that it is completely software development ecosystem. The tools like Xamarin Mac and Xamarin.Android make cross-platform development and code translation quite easier. Also you get access to a vast range of tools that these frameworks contain. Final feature we have is Xamarin support IoT and wearables. You can actually program softwares for iOS watches or Android watches with Xamarin. These cool features make Xamarin a hell of a great tool. But there are some downsides to it as well since the tool itself is quite young. So let me list them quickly as well. Xamarin has compatibility issues with third party libraries and tools. In order to put them to use, you'll have to convert them into wrappers. The next disadvantage we have is, to be able to work with Xamarin, you'll need basic knowledge of native languages. The next disadvantage we have is, Xamarin is a costly tool for enterprise and professional use. Then, you'll only have limited access to Xamarin libraries with open source version. The fifth disadvantage we have on our list is that, the Xamarin offers slightly delayed support for latest update and it is yet another problem that Xamarin users still face to the date. The last disadvantage is that product developed with Xamarin will be larger in size compared to the other development frameworks. So these were the disadvantage that Xamarin offers right now. Now to conclude things, I would say when comparing the pros and cons, the listed drawbacks are usually considered to be collateral damage. Most business owners choose Xamarin mobile app development platform as it decreases the time to market and engineering cost. 
by sharing the code and using a single technology stack. Yet, in case of consumer-facing apps with heavy UI, the amount of shared code decreases drastically. Thus, Xamarin cross-platform development loses its major benefit and might equal in time and cost to native solutions. So thinking about what kind of solution you are developing, you should make a move on whether to utilize Xamarin or not. That's all we have for this session. I thank you all for being here till the end of this video. If you have liked this video, do make sure to hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to IntelliPath YouTube channel. Goodbye till the next time. Just a quick info guys. IntelliPath provides full stack web development course in collaboration with ENICT IIT Guwahati. The course link of which is given in the description below. Now let's continue with the session.